Hello. Hey, I'm Tom. Hi there. Connor. Connor, how <laughs> are you? I'm doing okay. Yeah? Yeah. You are? I am, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't be more pleased to be having this conversation. Well, do you want to trip me or hug me? Do you want to punch me or kiss me? After 31 episodes of his Dead Eyes podcast, Connor Radliff got to chat with Tom Hanks. So the concept of the podcast has been the exploration of Connor's experience of auditioning for a bit role on Band of Brothers back in the early 2000s, where he was replaced before shooting began because Tom, who was directing that episode, reportedly said that Connor had dead eyes on camera. What was your first thought when you heard what the concept was? I was aghast. I was, I was, I, I actually got chilled. My heart rate, you know, yeah. skyrocketed and it said, I did, I, I did what? <laughs> Connor recounted his feelings as he was on his way to re-audition after hearing that critique. I just kept thinking, what do I, what do, I do? What's the trick? How do I pop the eyes oh as I'm delivering these two or three lines? See, I'm, my heart is racing right now hearing this story. After his re-audition, the role was recast. For Tom, hearing this story was like experiencing it for the first time. Does any of this ring a bell? With Not you? a single moment <laughs> of this rings a bell. Let me first take full yeah. responsibility for doing this to you. This was, this was without a doubt the act of the director. Yes. Which and that was me. Does that feel like something you'd say? Yeah, yeah, because it's been said about everybody. Tom relayed an experience he had with director Penny Marshall when they were shooting Big. When shooting began, Tom showed up to watch the dailies, and Penny quickly dismissed him. And Tom recalled what she said to him. In this room, we have to talk uncensored. We are going to say terrible things about you and the lighting and the props and the dolly moves and you. That line is not the line that said, that is a horrible thing. I hate this take. I'm not using it. His hair looks stupid. Why does he have those folds in his neck? Why is his voice so squeaky? We have to say all these things. And if you're here to hear them, it's really going to screw you up. In the inner sanctum of whatever this casting uh, session was on Band of Brothers with me and the, 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 my, the, whatever the crack staff, I'm sure I said, I don't know, man, that guy's got dead eyes. I could have, just, I could have said, he's got too blonde a hair. Right. I could have said, he's too tall and uh, I can't have the aide be taller than Captain Winters. I could have said, he's too short and slight. He doesn't look like a pair. I could have said any of these things. Yeah. Whoever communicated to you what was said in the inner sanctum yes. with, with such uh, uh, authenticity should have their kneecaps <laughs> broken because that, <laughs> that is not allowed. The inner sanctum is like the, it's like the dugout, man. You, it's not quotable there. It's off the record. Right. I could have said his face is too red. And if someone comes back to you and says, your face is too red to be in this, in this show. That's what, and that's what, that's what the man in charge says. So what you should have been told was, they wouldn't have said you have to re-audition. You said, yeah. we, we, you should come down and meet, meet Tom. You should right. have been told that. Yeah. Not that there was any sort of test that was involved. Yeah. It's very classy how this all played out because this could have gone a very different way. Because <laughs> yeah, in reality, casting can come down to those very minuscule things, especially when it comes to bit roles like that. Connor says the part had two to three lines in one scene. So essentially that character is part of the atmosphere of the show. Like you're not gonna necessarily remember those characters' lines or maybe even not remember him specifically, but he just needs to be, he just needs to feel authentic in the scene when he does appear. So yeah, it can come down to something that really stands out that the director thinks, and maybe right or wrong, director thinks stands out and doesn't really work for that scene. Like, I mean, Steven Spielberg said that he received 35,000 audition tapes for the principal roles of West Side Story. So you can't think everybody's good. And then at a certain point, once you get down to a certain group, it has to come down to minuscule things. Like, yeah, like Tom's saying, maybe it's height, maybe it's hair length or something like that like it, it can come down to those kind of things and like tom says those things should not be told to an actor of course you can get into an area where a director or casting director has bias or does things in a cruel way that's not the case here and connor knows that and connor knows the business and it's interesting that he's now capitalizing on that experience i'm not faulting him for doing it make your money but you're using tom as a promotional tool for your podcast and putting your experience on him like an experience that 
thousands if not millions of actors have had. Now Connor hasn't vilified Tom in this podcast, but Tom could have said, you're taking an experience that every actor has had and profiting off it by using my name. But he didn't. So that's great that these two sat down and had this conversation and really brought some insight into how casting works. But yeah, what are your thoughts on this?